This is an issue that's been reported by some of our users using the Excel sheets. It appears that there's some kind of update going on in Windows that's causing some references to be lost. For instance, if I open up this one here, and I'm going to go to my PDA time studies, and I'm going to look for one here called Test 2. Uh, so I'm down here to click on the Test 2. When I open it up, I immediately get this error, compile error, can't find project or library. And it looks like it's a problem down here, it's sitting on this bar, but that's actually misleading. Uh, what is happening is when you get that, you click on this blue dot here underneath the run, and that stops the program. And then you can go to the tools, and you look at the references here. And what you'll find is that there's something missing here. Uh, obviously, it was working at one time, but now it's not working. So these are actually components that we have in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect them. So at least uncheck the missing one and also the experts. So it's always the experts in the license net that you should uncheck. And then you click the OK. And then you do a file and then you save it. Okay. And once you've done that then, you can come back in again. And you're going to go to the tools again. And you're going to go for the references. And then you have to go browse. And this is where it gets a little uh, um, tedious, so we say here. You have to go to the C drive, and if it's in Windows 7, you go to the Program Files x86. Then you will look for the Applied Computer Services. Then you look for the Timer Pro Professional Net. And what you have to do then is you have to locate the experts.tlb. So not the DLL, but the TLB one. And you click on the Open here, and that will attach that. You can see it down here. Do the browse again, stay in the same folder, but so again, just to show you what it is, it's the C drive, it's the uh, program files x86, it's applied computer services, timer pro professional net, and this time you want to look for the license net.tlb, not the DLL, the TLB. And then you'll, they will be properly registered in here now. And we're not sure why you have to do this. It seems to be something to do with the, an update from Windows here. You click on the OK, and then you do a file save again. And now if you close out of the Excel sheet and you open it back up, so close it out completely, we're going to open it back up, and we're going to go down to the Test 2 again. And we click on it, and this time it comes in. And this time, basically, everything will work. So you can generate your raw data. You can generate all your reports and everything based on what you're dealing with here. Everything will work. So again, it's some kind of uh, update to Windows that's causing the problem. And if you make those adjustments to your templates, you can continue working. This problem does not affect any new ones developed. Uh, as we've actually changed the code to try and avoid the issue altogether, uh, so you don't have to worry about it in future. Anything after version 11, 1, 21, 2014 will not have this issue at all, but it seems to be something to do with some update to Windows.